Hey guys, um, no scriptures here probably today, maybe, but just a short video uh, about who's your source and maybe some forgiveness too. So anyhow, uh, a couple years ago, uh, went to one of the big box retailers, bought some fertilizer that I always buy, Scott's Turf Builder. Well, I saw somebody there that I knew from 19, that I worked with 19 years ago. She's still there, managing the department. She saw me, it was about to rain, um, and she said, oh, that's the wrong kind of fertilizer. Okay, well, probably knows what she's talking about, you know. I'm going to kind of go with the experts here. <laughs> I'm doing it a lot longer than me, so okay. Well, so she gives me a different kind of fertilizer. Well, I didn't read the package, and she didn't ask. I got St. Augustine, I'm here in Dallas, and it was for Bermuda. I had a pretty decent yard, not good hedges and all that other stuff. I'm not a real good landscaper, but the yard looked good. Killed it. Destroyed the whole yard, guys. Killed every bit of grass. Some of it came back the next year, but most of it didn't. Man, I was mad. My wife was mad. I was really mad for a couple days. My wife's like, you need to go up there and give me I'm like, get your money back, blah, blah, make them pay for our yard, blah, 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 da, da, da. I'm like, they're just going to kind of tell me I'm kind of ignorant that I didn't read the package, probably. Something to that effect. It's true. So I'm going somewhere with this. This is a message about forgiveness and about who's your source. <clears throat> so a couple days went by and I'm like, man, God, what do I do? I wanted to go, you know, give him peace of my mind, tell him you know, whatever, tell him off, whatever, you know. Thinking about all the work I'm going to have to do to redo the yard, maybe even a grand to spend or whatever, you know, or have somebody do it or just, I was just frustrated a little bit. Prayed about it a couple days, but, you know, still angry. Then I got my answer. Because I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm not going to shrink back from it, pollute it, dilute it. But I need to know. That's where I'm getting to with your source that is coming from him. This is what he told me. He said, how much more important is it what you say to others about the gospel and about God or Jesus or the Holy Ghost or dreams or visions or what he's showing you or teaching you that you get it right. This can go to all of us, ministry or non-ministry. That you get it right because souls are at stake. People's lives are at stake. It can destroy their lives, the things we say, if they're not right. If they're not from God, Holy Ghost, Jesus. If our source came from some polluted, deluded, worldly, whatever, even our thinking, selfish. Man, you could, the list could go on, guys. So who's your source? And then he said... Assumptions lead to destruction. So we can't assume things, guys. That became another message for me later on in life. We can't just take for granted. We can't just take part of the truth and mix it up with some stuff that we want. It can't be mixed gospel, guys. It can't be polluted, diluted truth. It has to be from him. So guess what? Where do you get that? In your secret place. Who's your source? No one's around. You pray. Imagine that. Why do you think that scripture says, 7, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, If my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face. We got to do it individually, guys. But what I'm saying, because he called me into the ministry, but not, not 
My platform is not, I don't have to have a church. My platform is not a platform. It doesn't matter. It's wherever. Right now it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever. I don't even like all that garbage. Honestly, I don't. But he's got me doing it. And it's kind of hard for me because I got some technical challenges, guys. And I got some medical problems, guys, that, you know, I had a stroke and it basically... Final, final, finalization of it, and it's not a report you want to hear from the doctor. Is basically half my brain died. I guess I don't need that, God. Not, nah, I do, but so it's like, you know, God, you tell me to do this stuff, and then it's, you know, instead of something to do it with, it's it's a stripping. But you know what, guys? Look at some of my messages. Look at the one through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. That'll tell you a lot about it. Are the Broken and contrite spirit. That's a great one, too. I've gotten plenty of messages out of it. This hand sucks. This hand I got so much closer to, to him. I'll take the closer to him any day. But, so, I can't just say stuff, guys, because it's not you or your opinion. I'm not fearful of any of that. Doesn't matter. But I am responsible to him. So I can't just spout stuff off the top of my head, shoot from the hip. It's got to be right, guys. So it requires a lot of prayer and fasting, dedication, fasting. Well, however you got to do it, whatever, however God deals with you. You got to get it from the source. That's why it says out of these, the rivers of living water, if you drink from these rivers, crystal clear rivers in Revelation 22, and the way, the truth, and the life. There's so many scriptures, guys. I'm not even going to go into them all. I got plenty of them on, on YouTube, but I'm not trying to be a YouTube guru, a Facebook guru. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Tell me to go on Periscope now. Um, and these all these different websites, and it's like, man, it's just, it's been... Almost like sucking, not just sucking up my time, but my resources. And up here, I don't have a lot right now, guys. It's like, man, it's really taxing because of the stroke. Man, kind of like running up underwater at the bottom of the ocean. Sort of, you know, but it's like, okay, God. But I'll do it. I'm going to be obedient. I'm just a vessel, guys. Like you are, but I just happen to be a directional vessel, but... I got to get it right. I end with this. Plenty of them out there. But it's time for people in the ministry to get over themselves. It really is, guys. It can just be about our Father's business. I'm not trying to be the offensive finger pointing guy, accusing people of stuff. Because that's just as wrong. But at the same time, I got to cry foul ball. Got to cry foul when I see foul. When I see what's going on in the church, the body. I don't like it. Guys, I'm like, man, I tell God, I saw some things and recently. And it's like, God, I could have lived my whole Christian life without knowing that. Please pick somebody else. But he won't. But so we all got a purpose and a plan and destination for, for things that God has in store for us. Jeremiah 29, 11. Read Matthew 20. A quality piece. We're all the same guys. I don't care if you pastor that. You know, we're all trying to reach the Colosseum stage level. Thousands of people. And it's like, man, Really? Better make sure your source is Him. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Not even my YouTube channel or anything, you know. That's why I put a lot of scriptures in I've also got two books out and nothing to do with the books. But please, just look on Amazon. It's called Jesus Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. And how we're His glory, and we all have a story, and we're His feet. He had it, and we're His feet recently. To do a study on his feet. So I've been studying on his feet. It's part of it now, too. So it's like, man, I got to e you send me your email, Jesus 
is alive in America at gmail.com and I got an email copy. I can just email you one if you like it. You can and you can get a copy, but that one's free. Just all I need is your email. I don't keep the emails. I'm not not even that smart for one, and I'm not into the email campaigns and all the other I'm just not that kind of minister, guys. I'm not trying to build something. That's the other last thing I'm gonna end with. We're trying to create God. And God created us. We want them in a box. We want them in a building. We want them in a place. We want them in a revival. We want them over here, over there. It's, it's like, he's in you. Whoever you are listening right now, the drunk bum or the homeless guy or the CEO of some major company, that's where Matthew 20 is. But there's so much, guys. And... Just want to share it with you. But anyhow, that's my heart. Um, so if I get it wrong, that, that's, you know, I got a blog page on Wix, which I'm trying to really boost up. I've got, you know, like I said, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, or, the, or you can email me. Let me know, guys. Plus, I want to hear your story, guys. I'm a little overloaded, but that's the direction the Lord's having me do. I've got to end with this. Befriended a couple people from overseas on Facebook. It blew up into 900 people and I got 800 friends that I haven't even got to. Want to. And a lot of them are calling me, emailing me. It's like, man. Almost like I'm, man, it's a pretty challenging, guys. And trying to keep my mind on the gospel and the time to pray. And it just, it's like, man, God, I'm kind of a little bit on overload mode here. Not... So, anyhow, but that's what he's dealing with me about. So it's like, okay, God, but I got to get it right. I've got to be right. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to spit out a bunch of, you know, that's why it says the power of life and death is in your tongue. I don't want to spit out death. I want to, I don't want to portray, I want to portray life, Christ, Jesus, the gospel. So anyhow, that's my heart, guys. Um, just email us. Jesus is alive. In America at gmail.com. Just Google Jesus is alive in America. You'll find us. I put that out as a, as a statement, guys, because Jesus has kind of been whitewashed out of this. Okay, I'm going to end with this. I've got other messages coming up about this, but look at the almighty dollar coming down if you want to see. That's been on there a while, but go tell Congress, Trump, whomever, or the atheist groups, or whomever, somebody at your church. Oh, yeah, we God we trust. Well, the dollar bill looks kind of weird to me, anyhow. Pyramids and words I don't even know what it's saying, and just you study it, and it's, man, it's kind of weird. So, go tell them we want to put in Jesus we trust on there. See how far that'll get you. But that's why I put out this, call this website, or whatever. Not even a ministry, it's just, it's to get out your stories, guys. Really, honestly, it is. It's not me. I want to gather all I can, all y'all stories. You want to write a book, too? I wrote two, and the Lord told me to write a whole bunch more, and it has nothing to do with me. And I'm not even an author, guys. I'm not even that good of an author. But they're good books. You can get them on Amazon. Um, or you can email me, get some more information. But Or if you want to write your own, Amazon KDP. It's Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. It's free. I'm not a computer guy, but it's fairly simple. Just I had to have a friend help me, but but they'll help you create the covers and they got templates and all that kind of stuff. But they all they needed from me, basically, to get the book part to them was was to put it in a certain um, font. I use George 11, but once you get into that. It's for the page breaks or whatever, so everything gets all spaced. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm technically challenged. But it was free. And the first, second book that I just wrote, the Lord said, just get it to them, get it published. And now it's easier to proof. I proofed it four times. But within two days, they approve it and it's redone. They help you put it on Amazon. They help you put it all over the Amazon pages all over the world. They help you price it. They put it on Kindle, and it's free, guys. So if you got a story or a memoir or whatever, AmazonKDP.com or Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. 
Pretty awesome tool. But anyhow, it's time for us to all end with this. Isaiah 60, arise and shine. It's time for God's people to rise and shine. So anyhow, please tune into my other videos. Share them. Honestly, help me get this out. Or send me your story on my email. That's fine. It's great. That's awesome. Or blog with us. Or comment with us. But just, you know, that kind of help. Or just pray for me. That would be great, too. I'll take all that, too. Every bit of it. I just want to get this right, guys. I want these words to be his words. I don't want to spout out stuff that's up here. That's my, that I am going to end with this. From one of my favorite scriptures. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your paths. Quit this head knowledge garbage. It just gets us into the pride and this stuff. It comes from here. When it comes from here, generally it's pure. It comes from here, it could be anything. All the way from opinions to, to idolatry to egos to just whatever. Pride, junk, sin, whatever. Stuff. So anyhow, I, that's why you got to get it right. And you get it right in your secret place. In your prayer. When it's just you and him. So, love you guys. Um, Thanks for listening. Uh, if you you know want scriptures, which I'm that's I'm a big scripture guy. That's what the books are all about mostly. One of them is just full of scripture. Both of them are full of scriptures. But um, just email me and I can get you a copy. And if you like it, you can get one yourself or whatever. Just or if you got a problem paying for it, just call you know email me and I'll send you one for free. Love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Do want to hear from you. Do want to hear your story. Do want to set up Wix. Page has a blog, and Jesus is Alive in America on Facebook has a blog, and I'm also on Stephen Youngstrom on Facebook. But anyhow, just just Google Jesus is Alive in America and you'll find us. Or email us at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. Love to hear from you. I want to hear your story. A lot going on, guys. It's just time for his body to rise and shine, but to get it right also. Whatever God is dealing with you about, yours may look a little different than mine. And you know what? I'm okay with that because so is God. Just be about your father's business. Love you. Thanks. Bye-bye.